people are just opening their eyes to the prophetic. You said it's the yeah. sword of the spirit. That's how we're living in. I feel the same yeah. way. Yeah. People say, think, well, you know, this is, this is wild, this is wild. They never thought abortion would ever be shaken the way it is now, but it is. That's right. And it happened in a night, That's right. just like that. We must stand up. There are answers and we've got to expose the darkness in the world so that we can be free. Self-made gods are nice things to have around until people actually start to need God. And that's what's happening in our culture. We need to do something. We need to say something. We need to stand up, be bold and courageous. You've got to stay on guard. We were, we were in DC. <laughs> yeah. And we got to the DC airport, nobody there. It was a dead man. Yeah. I mean, it was, you could hear a pin drop in there. There was nobody. We get into DC, we walk the streets. I've got video footage, nobody's around. My husband and I went place to place, the D Department of Justice. But when we got to the Capitol building, that's where the, they'd all come together to yes. meet, yes. to vote in these trillions and trillions and trillions yeah. and trillions of dollars of relief. Oh, yeah. And we got to the Capitol and the Holy Spirit came on me and I started cursing the enemy. See? I've learned. You can curse the works of people. I don't curse the people, but I curse, I, for years I cursed the works of Mark Zuckerberg and these lies and the spirit is behind it. I'm not cursing that person, but I'm cursing their works. And we are like the fig tree. Mm -hmm. Jesus cursed the fig tree because of the fruit or lack of. Mm -hmm. And so we can curse those works of darkness. And you can do that. Uh, anyway, we got to the Capitol and the Holy Spirit came out and prayed in the spirit. I started cursing the works and Pelosi's name <coughs> came out of my mouth and several <coughs> other names. We found out later, we didn't know what was going on the inside, but we knew something. And I'm coming against that, that spirit of murder and death. Sure. They were trying to put all of this uh, pork into there. Into one bill. Mm -hmm. And it was about abortion. Yeah, abortion. It was yeah. to kill children, it was to kill babies. And what we've learned about what they do with their body parts, That's humanizing right. mice and even heads on That's the mice. Right all these horrific satanic stuff. Oh, wow. uh, and that's what it is, is satanic. It is satanic. See, it's, a, it's the prophets of Baal. Uh, Baal worship, I know it's hard for people to believe that, that people that wear nice suits and ties mm -hmm. and they're all clean. Put together. Uh, yeah, and, and every clean cut and everything looks so well, will go home at night and put on robes and hoods and worship the devil. I know it's hard for people to believe that, but they do. Look at the Bohemian <coughs> Grove, right? We got all these things, That's these right. secret societies right. and all mm -hmm. these occultic things they do. Well on well, the side that they're worshiping their God. Oh, that's yeah. exactly. In my new book, I talk about they they uh, wield the sword of their little Lord, El, El and Little that's El. Good right there. They're wielding the sword of their Lord, but we wield the sword of, of the, the Lord. Yeah, Amen. The Amen. That's, See, that's that, our sword. That's yeah. awesome. The Spirit. See, we we uh, it's it's a showdown. See, it's never yes. it's never stopped from Baal. Baal worship is. It, it's every generation thinks they're the modern generation. They give it a new name. Oh yeah, the oh we're the modern evil generation. Evil demon spirit. Mm. Yeah, and, but they're still killing babies. Right, Lucifer. Okay, <clears throat> you can uh, last year over 40 million worldwide, but uh, it's Baal worship. So we've come down. See that day we called down. Uh, I said, Lord, send the fire. The Elijah moment. Mm. Then this portal forms over the White House of fire and it's over it now and they, they don't want anybody to see that mm. and uh but it was there and and i guess it's still there it was there and it was their own cameras that showed it and people couldn't get over it because it in the daylight it was like a round circle and at night it looked like an orange moon surrounded with a white mm. circle and then this fiery storm over to the side tell me about what is that portal for what's the purpose of that well, we call, I called for fire like Mount Carmel that day. Hmm. After that, it formed. But there is a corridor. Uh, see, de demonic spirits can open portals into heaven, but they open them through time. Or trying to build a tower, right? Tower of Babel. That's yeah. what that was about. Mm -hmm. And it was about, and there was a lot to that tower. But what you saw is a corridor open and a battle over a portal hmm. over this nation. See, on, on Mount Carmel, Elijah and the prophets of Baal, it was actually a fight over a portal that opened. Who could mm. call fire through it? Mm. But see, the prophets of Baal can't open a corridor to heaven, a portal. 
They can only open through time. Hmm. And sa Satan is the prince of the power of the air, yeah. so they operate in the atmosphere and of the air that's right. and working through that that spirit. Like Daniel, he prayed a prayer, they couldn't. The angel was that's coming right. through that yeah. prince prince's territory, if you will. And see, they were trying to stop him hmm. from coming. And see, Daniel also says uh, uh, says that in Daniel seven that the enemy seeks to change time. Hmm. He manipulates time because time is a dimension that can be manipulated. Science knows, CERN does it. They manipulate time, but they can't open it. They said if we can open it up, something will come through it. Just for a little background, CERN, tell folks about CERN. Yeah, CERN is that giant particle collider in CERN, Switzerland. And it's 26 miles round under the ground and they fire these particles through it and it circles at such a high speed and then they collide them. And when it does, it opens dimensions of time. The earth reacts sometimes to it, but it'll open dimensions. And about two weeks ago, they fired it up again, right as this portal opens. Interesting. And, and just think about all of this. Mm -hmm. And if it's not so, then they need to make it fix what, uh, they need to fix what makes it look like that's what they're doing. Because they built it on the temple of Apollo they built CERN on the Temple of Apollo. Of, uh, the Temple of Apollo in Revelation chapter 9, you get down around verse 11, and it starts talking about there's an angel given a key. That's Revelation mm -hmm. to open the bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're trying to do. And it says the name of the king of that pit is Apollyon. And it's yes. built on Apollo. Mm -hmm. And outside their door is the Hindu god Shiva, the god of destruction that sits on the, the World Health Organization's table, that Obama appeared as Shiva on Newsweek in 2010. I saw that. And this is no coincidence that all of these people trying to converge to uh, rule the world, to take over the world, well, to do the book of Revelation, the one world order, well, they they're believe all it, using these same things. Well, they believe it more than Christians believe it. Right, and that's the problem. And see, uh, if it's not so, then how come when Hillary Clinton was running for president, they brought the Arch of Baal to the city park, uh, uh, New York, uh, the, the park in New York City? Why did they bring the Arch of Baal? The Arch of Baal was the triumphal arch that goes, that went in Palmyra, Syria, where they would take the babies through the arch, go up to the temple and sacrifice them to Baal. And hmm. so uh, ISIS destroyed, they said, destroyed the temple. But the temple was full of encryptions all around the outside to show you how to use that portal. That's what I believe happened. Mm -hmm. ISIS was a bunch of thugs in the back of Toyotas with machine guns. They didn't have the, the expertise to surgically remove that temple and leave the arch. Mm -hmm. They blew it apart and left the arch. It took a sophisticated nation to do that. Wow. And then suddenly there's a thousand arches of Baal 3D printed, a thousand. And they put one in Central Park. I would say they show up all over the world. They yeah. started showing up. Boris Johnson dedicated one. And two demonic spirits flew through it on camera. Wow. And so then the, the prime minister or president, whatever he is, of Italy dedicated one. Then they took, and when Brett Kavanaugh was being going through that circus he was going through, because they were afraid of what was going to happen right now, they brought the Arch of Baal to the park across the street. To uh, The Arch of Baal, now it's all over abortion. Mm -hmm. And so all of this is going on, and if, it's, and if it is, if it's not so, then somebody needs to fix what makes it look like it. Why did they print a thousand uh, arches, of uh, arches of Baal? They hit Disney, and it's amazing it was Disney. Disney show, The Mandalorian, showed them take a baby through the Arch of Baal to dissect it. Mm. And the episode was called The Sin. They just th and a Jewish man wrote that whole script. Wow. Now, and, and the episodes are the sanctuary, the sin, the, and it showed exactly, and that's the Arch of Baal. And if you look at what uh, Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum, the Young Global Leaders, if you look at his advisor they call the prophet, Dr. Harari. The prophet. Ooh, you look at the things he said, he uses Jesus Christ's name in it. Yeah, and you we know, don't need a savior. We don't need, and that there's a, all these is, issues about, uh, uh, you know, there, we, 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 don't, we don't look to some God in the cloud. We look to the cloud where the technology, we get our answers. And this is the word of the Lord. Cool. The word of the Lord came to me saying this, you call yourself the prophet, 
open your mouth again and I'll lay you on your face, says the Lord. You will not rise up against me in this time. For my people have called to me through the blood of the Lamb, mm. and I will honor every call made. For you open your ignorant mouth again, and I will close it, says the Lord. For you will reap a harvest instantly on the spot, and I'm going to make a fool out of you in front of everybody. For I will show you who is God, and you are not Him. For the Lord says this, Hear the word of the Lord and obey. For it is your last chance to obey. Mm. Shut your filthy mouth, mm. for mm. I am going to show you. I will mm. shut it for you, says the Lord. Mm. And all of those connected to you mm. will run like scattered roaches and rats from your presence. So you heed this call, says the king. And I have, I have took supernatural steps to get this word to you, and you will hear it. And you dare laugh at me. You dare laugh at my prophet sitting on this set talking to you. Dare open your mouth and laugh, and it will be the laugh of the worshipers of Baal. For this time has come, and you will be no more, says the Lord, the king of glory. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 And this is the way of those who are foolish and of their posterity who approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. The upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Hallelujah. And their beauty shall be consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we honor you. Thank we honor you. your word, Lord. Yes. Thank you, those that are that shake their fist in your face, God. Yes. They shall be consumed by their own doings. Yes. Who, Father, we praise you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And do Bless not be afraid Lord. when one becomes rich in the eyes of the world, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dies, he shall carry nothing away. Mm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. See, see, you could mm. only push things so far. Hmm. When you see the word Lord hmm. in the authorized King James and all capitals, hmm. it's speaking of God in his system of harvest, not the personal hmm. God doing something. It's, it's him in his government hmm. and what a man sows he that he will reap. And that was the word of the Lord to the, when you, mm -hmm. when they called him the prophet, it grieved mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. Something happened in my spirit my at that too. moment. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, prophet. Prophets of Baal. Prophet. Mm -hmm. A prophet who is limited to the sky. He's limited to the, mm -hmm. to the height of the sky. But my prophet, says the Lord, are unlimited to the throne of grace mm -hmm. and to the throne of heaven. For this is the difference. My ways are higher than your ways. Hallelujah. And his authority is to the sky. But the prophets of the Lord's authority is to the throne. And the throne made the sky. <laughs> and he laughs at the wicked. The scripture says he la sits in the heavens and laughs. At their schemes that they think. They think uh, for a moment. Something yeah. happened just Ooh. then. Yes, it, I'm, I'm, I don't know so, if I'm undone in the right studio here. Since that or not, <laughs> something happened. Yeah. Hmm. Prophet. A cloud is deceiving. Ooh. A cloud is deceiving. You think you can step on it, but you fall right. Oh the my goodness! Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness! If hmm. you just look out an airplane window, above the clouds, it looks like you could walk on them, mm -hmm. but they won't hold you. Mm -mm. Fall like a hot rock. <laughs> to deceive, you're talking about deceiving, to deceive the nations. Yes. Wow. That's what this, to deceive. And look at the nations falling for these lies and the people yeah. falling for these lies. You deceiving. said deceiving the nations. See, these are things that people need to know. Yeah. See, people say, well, why does a prophet get involved? Should a prophet get involved in politics? I don't know. Ask Elijah. Ask Elijah when he pointed his finger at so hard at King Ahab that his horses would have jumped back. Mm. And when Ahab said, you're the one troubling Israel, he said, no, it's you and your family. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I tell Elijah don't get in politics. Right. right. Tell Elijah when he, well, right. you know, you prophesied. Well, Elijah said that the dogs, woof, woof dogs, <laughs> would eat Jezebel, Jezebel by the wall her, of Jezreel. Yes. Yeah. And he did, they did. Yes. 
Here is the thing. Prophets, ask Moses who confronted Pharaoh. Every time a prophet comes on the scene, why do prophets come out at certain times? It is because a prophet will do what a king wants. That's right. That's right. Samuel is the only the prophet. the justice of God. Yeah. And yeah. See, Samuel is the only prophet that we have record of that handled a sword. Hmm. He handled a sword. Did he? And he came hmm. before Saul. And when Saul spared Agag, he said, bring him out here. When he was told to kill right. the Amalekites, he said, bring him out here. And Saul wasn't, wasn't going to kill him. And Samuel drew a sword, mm. and the Bible said he hewed him in pieces. Mm. That means Ooh. he was so skillful with it Ooh. that he whittled him down in front of all the soldiers. What the pastors will not do, the prophet will do. What the king won't do. The prophet what will the, do. Wow. And because we've heard this tolerance. I'm just thinking about this tolerance no, see, that's movement it. that was yeah, that's, that's what was it. perverted in the church yeah. Yeah. to try to make that grace. That is not mm. grace. Grace no. teaches us to say no to sin. Grace right. don't lie. And yet the churches have embraced it. No, we pride. Let's march with pride. Let's march with uh, let's march with BLM. Let's march with those that are against the central family, the nuclear family, God's plan for family, Who God's plan for children. They are. Yeah, they did. It was not anything we're saying. It's what they said in their own exactly words. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. And they, and, but many pastors were deceived by that uh, acceptance and tolerance. And uh, if you did repent, just repent. The Lord will receive you back. He will. But Revelation is very clear about those seven churches yeah. that really? Jesus said, I'll remove your lampstand sure if yes. you don't repent from this Jezebel spirit, from this mm. Nicolaitan spirit, from these That's spirits right. that have tried to infiltrate. So what does God do? He brings the prophet he to does. speak a word. He brings the Samuel to say no. That's exactly Off right. with the heads of these evil doers. We're to expose the deeds of darkness. We're not to embrace them. We're not to cover them. We're not to join them. Right. We're to expose them in morality. It's God's justice. Morality, right? Well, see, prophets bring the court mm. of Jehovah, mm. the court of Yahweh. Whew. The prophets bring that court from heaven into the earth and try men. Mm. He, they bring them in and God tries them there. And the prophet is the mantle that brings that in. And the judgment you just spoke, that, that was a court false room. prophet. The Bible says in the last days, false prophets. Yeah. Which by contrast means there's real ones. That's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see, and, and I, I'm going to say this really quick mm. because I think the Lord impressed my spirit to tell this. See, you live in, in the time, people don't realize a lot of times where we are. And it's not that, that they can't, it's just that nobody tells it. Mm. You know, they, they're, you, this is a big lie. Everything around you is a big lie in government right now. It's a big reality show. Mm. See, the way communism used to overthrow a nation, they learned it from a, a man named Sun Tzu, and he wrote a, a, a book about 3,000 years ago called The Art of War. And The Art of War, uh, I remember, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but a man named uh, Yuri Beznikov uh, defected from the Soviet Union before the Soviet Union fell apart in, in 1970. He, he defected in 70. So he came over and he was a, an ideological uh, warfare expert. And they used Sun Tzu's Art of War. And this was their whole plan. And communism does this. They would come in, and, and it's done in four stages. It's, it's, it's how you overthrow a nation with no bloodshed. Hmm. And the first part is because they said the greatest weapon of war is to never fight at all. So hmm. the first stage is done. They called it active measure is what the Soviets called it. They called it uh, active measure. They called it um, subversion. And it's done in subversion, four stages. First, it's demoralization. They must demoralize a nation. Mm. And the way they demoralize a nation is they, it takes 15 to 20 years to do this. And they'll bring in professors and, and, and they have to have three graduating classes like college classes, three generations to, to demoralize a nation. And they teach their ways. They teach their philosophies, socialism, communism, uh, all of this stuff which communism was only invented to hide Satanism. I don't, a lot of people don't even know right, that. Right, right, uh, wow. Communists don't even believe that. Wow. And so it was just Satan, Satanism. 
And so mm -hmm. anyway, so they do this and, and they demoralize a, a nation. Mm -hmm. Once it's demoralized, then they move into the second thing. It's called destabilization. Once destabilization starts, those that are demoralized, this is what Yuri said. He said, you could show them pictures of what's really going on and they can't see it anymore. He said, you could show them in black and white print and they can't see it anymore. They out, you could take them to a Soviet concentration camp and he said, they could not see it anymore. He said, they only wake up when a military boot crashes their fat bottom. That was his words. Mm. And so mm -hmm. he's, and then after that, once you get, that's why these newscasters, these liberal, they look at you like this. Right. Because they're they're they just... can't see it. Mm -hmm. And you're dealing with a demoralized generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, then when they do that, they organize groups. They organize um, uh, gay rights movements, Black Lives Matter, uh, Antifa. They start organizing anybody that can be organized is what they use to destabilize a nation. Mm. That takes five years. Mm. Then they start causing riots. They go against authority. They start doing these things. Then in the middle of all the riots, they must have the third stage, which is called crisis. And once crisis starts, they said there's no way to pull a nation back off the brink. It's going over now if it ever gets to crisis mode. Mm. And when you get to crisis mode, even though you didn't want that lifestyle, it's a viable option now because this is falling apart. It's demoralized, destabilized, and now they have to have a crisis. They have to have a crisis. And then when they do that, see, we invaded Grenada because they were in the third stage. They say the only thing that'll pull it back is a civil war or a foreign invasion. So we invaded Grenada and pulled it back. We were the foreigners. So sent, the Lord told me, and then the last stage comes after crisis is normalization. Comrade Brezhnev said, now they, uh, he said, brotherly Czechoslovakia has been normalized when Soviet tanks rolled down their street. And that's mm. an indefinite period of time. Mm. And they asked Yuri, he said, what do they do with all the, uh, or Yuri said, you know what they do with all the organizations they used? In those days, now this is in the Soviet days, he said they shoot them. I was going to say they destroy them. Mm -hmm. He said they just shoot them because they don't need anybody They're destabilizing done. anymore. Right. They have to normalize now. And mm -hmm. so the Lord told me, see, that's what they tried to do is push a crisis. Remember, when the first horseman of the apocalypse rides, mm -hmm. it says he has a crown on his head and a bow in his hand. Mm -hmm. That's the Greek translation. A bow is a poison dart. And the crown, you would translate it now, you might call it a corona. It's a crown. So he said, with this, he'll conquer and conquer. Go out conquering and conquer with a corona and a poison dart. Wow. Yeah. So you can see the crisis they tried to push. Mm -hmm. And the Lord told me, he said, there won't be a civil war. He said, so since there won't be, he said, I'm going to invade from heaven. Pooh. He said, I'll invade and pull it back off the brink. <laughs> well, and that's what is happening. Praise God. And now you see Roe v. Wade crumbling. You see all this stuff happening. Mm. He's invading. Hallelujah. So. And that's because of the prayers of people like you. Absolutely. That's because of the saints. That's yes. because of prophetic words. Absolutely. That's because of those that heard their spirit. People say to us, how did you guys know not to go down this lane? How not to go... Those that are led by the Spirit of the Lord, right? Hear the voice of the Lord. We hear the voice of the Lord. Yes. We don't have to go down this road. Yeah. We can also, also, we can fight to Absolutely. keep it off the rest of those that don't know. Absolutely. Exactly. You know, it was, was it, somebody called our office when I gave that word about that ship, you know, that got stuck in the Suez mm -hmm. and all that. And they called the office and said, doggone him. How'd he know that? How'd he know that? And why does he lock those doors and do the 11th hour program? Why does he do that? They think I've got some kind of super, super <laughs> high tech equipment that I can see around the world. <laughs> see, and we, we do, but it's the, the eyes of the Lord oh, it's the that, Holy that he Ghost. showed you, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. It's the Holy Ghost. Uh, and you are, we were talking about the kite and the kite holder. <laughs> and, and so, you know, every marriage, oh, there's that Lord kite and a kite holder. 
and I hear the prophetic in you as well, oh, though. I is. hear that. Yeah, you hear the pastor. Mm -hmm. I know of your ministry, the church. Uh, you guys walk, work hand in hand. What are you seeing? You got this house now. You have <laughs> taken possession, and, and that's prophetic in and of itself. Yes. You've possessed what the enemy wanted to take and use to destroy children, to kill, yes. steal, and destroy. and destroy. Now you instead, you've moved. You're moving into this territory. You've taken wherever what your foot's gone. What did the Lord gone. tell you? So, uh, he, well, after we signed it, he said the warriors have taken the hill Hallelujah. because the house sets up on a hill so and overlooks Lord, the city. Said it has taken the hill. And you're taking that city too back. Oh, yeah. For the Absolutely. kingdom of God. The enemy has tried to use it, abuse it, and pillage it, it and has. take from it. And you it. know about some of that. Yes. We, you know, but, yeah. but the Lord wants it back. Amen. 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 And we're the instruments to take it back. Amen. Amen. Yes, we are. And God wants you to take back what belongs to you too. Amen. Uh, you have a covenant with Jesus Christ. If you've called on the name of the Lord, and if you haven't, you need to. The time is short. It's shorter than any of us would even know. We've That's talked to you about that. Uh, you know, we had Gary Kaw, and he was told by someone very high up in the environmental uh, sphere of things who's kind of undercover that they're trying to bring this new world order by 2024. Oh. And uh, so, and it's pushing now. Right, they're pushing hard because they're frantic. See, they're they, frantic. They have to do it in 2022. Ooh. They have to do it this year. Mm. They, they have to. It's an election year too. Yeah, well see, but they have to because... Mm.